I want to talk about some of the emotional mind games now that happens to you after you've had surgery. We're going to talk about maybe six months to one year period post-op. Now this is going to be most of you guys watching this video, right? Some of the emotional mind games that you're going to experience, and it can go longer, trust me. So we'll do one year, you know, we, we can do one to like three years, you know, we can do three to five years five years and above, something like that. And they can all apply to any of this range, but here's, here's a few of them. Um, you know, the, the, the mind game you're gonna have most is this, excitement. I mean, you're shrinking, clothes are coming down easy, you're out of the window, most likely for complications, uh, you've healed up, um, you've made a lot of changes, so you're healed now, you made changes, and by changes I mean you got new, you know, like you got rid of the old friends, um, you made new friends, uh, ex <laughs> like relationships might have broken up, right, relationships, jobs, lots of changes, lots of changes are happening and you're excited, you're super excited and um, it's awesome, we are so glad you're excited, you want to be excited. That my warning to you for this this emotional side is this. It's like, dude, like don't go overboard. Like try to try to be steady, like steady. Not too much. Excitement is great, but don't when you when you get too excited too fast, that then you that's when you start seeing people post about like transfer addictions to alcoholism. They turn into alcoholics because now they're going out, they're partying finally, they're getting attention from the opposite sex, girls night out, you know, liquor gets them drunk a lot faster, they're super excited, they're really going crazy. Mm, once in a while, that might be okay, but boy, every night, you're in trouble, you know? Like, it's cool to want to buy new clothes and that sort of stuff, but if you're up all night online shopping, buying clothes out off of Amazon, you're in trouble. It's too much of a roller coaster. You gotta stay steady. Like really don't stay focused, right? Stay focused. And I wanna remind everybody in this phase that it is a marathon. Now let me ask you about the marathon. Everyone knows the saying. Like, oh, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I get it, okay. All right, let me ask you this question. Let's duck it up. How long is the marathon? 26 miles, Dr. V. 26 days, Dr. V. Until I hit my goal weight, Dr. V. <coughs> Wrong! Wrong! It's a lifelong marathon. Because even when you hit your goal weight, girl, you can regain the weight. Amen? Give me some amens. It's a lifelong marathon. You can regain the weight. You are worth it. It's a lifelong marathon. Okay, now around the one to three years period, hopefully you're near goal weight. And you might have regained a little bit. You might have gotten off track a little bit. You're, you're near your goal weight. That's okay. But you get the idea. You're around there. You're playing with the same 10, 15 pounds, Dr. V. Uh, I'm thinking about having plastic surgery, Dr. V. Had plastic surgery, Dr. V. Number one mind game is this. I don't see it. Ooh, this one's this one fucks you up. Put a big star by this one. So if you're six months, you're getting up to your one year, watch out for this. I don't see it. I look in the mirror and I still see that fat girl. I still see my 280 pound person. I, I walk by my reflection and I don't realize it's me. It really jacks with you guys. You got to prepare for this. And men too. It happens to men too, right? It just it just it's it's a separation, right? It's, it's a massive separation from um, between mind and body. You have to imagine how hard it is to walk past a mirror and not recognize yourself. It's not a funny meme. Like we post about it in our Facebook groups and they laugh about it and like, oh, I didn't wreck myself. Uh, I, my, sh my own shadow scared me, ha, ha, ha. Listen, girl, it's not funny. It's not funny. Um, you know, the, a few years ago, 
um, they did the first human facial transplant, which, you know, they took um, somebody had been like a, just his face was literally ripped off by a gorilla. And, um, and then he was on the face transplant list. So he was the first face transplant. And they had to do a lot of psychological evaluation and training and preparation because when you open your eyes, it's not your fucking face. Right now, all you have to do is look at an old picture of you when you were 300 pounds and a new picture of you when you're 150 pounds. Just look at the face alone and don't be like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I see the difference. No, be like, dude, I'm a whole different person. I'm a totally different person. If my ex-husband saw me today, he would not recognize me. If my old best friend from high school saw me today, she would not recognize me. If my old coworkers from last year's job saw me today, they wouldn't recognize me. If they don't recognize me, then there's a good chance I don't recognize myself. Amen? Okay, so why is this important? If you don't recognize yourself, pay attention now. How do you love yourself? This is why this is not funny. If you don't see yourself, if you don't recognize yourself, how do you actually love yourself? How are you actually kind to yourself? How do you actually nourish yourself? How do, how do you choose good stuff, right? How do you forgive others for being mean to you? I mean, who, who are you forgiving? Well, what? What should that for, who should that forgiveness be given to? It's not you. You don't recognize you. Does that make sense what I'm saying? This is a super big thing. So it's nice to keep those old photos around. And you can always keep a few and look back and be shocked and awed. But I would tell you, spend a lot of time looking in the mirror, doing body uh, mirror work. So um, Megan Fettis and I... If you guys didn't see my free videos, we did the lunch and learn on body image. Free lunch, free videos on, um, you can find them on YouTube under body image, under my lunch and learn uh, tab, playlist, where she talks about this. We spent like 10 weeks talking about your body image, like what you're looking at. How do you reconnect your mind to your body? How do you start seeing? And I'm telling you the more I did this, I did this with Tina um, uh, and then also with Megan and they've given me a lot of insight and I've thought about this a lot more for my community and my following and I think this is terrible. Like I think this, this shit is not funny. When you see somebody who posts this on Facebook or Instagram and says, I don't really see what you're talking about. I don't see what people are showing. Like, don't dismiss it. Tell them to watch this video and say, girl, you got to get your head back in the game. Because who are you going to love? Okay? Super powerful. Super good. So why is this important? Because now when you're three or five years out, no one cares. You wake up one day and you realize no one cares about you. They're sick and tired of hearing about your weight loss surgery. They're sick and tired of hearing about your Dr. V. You moved away. You got a new job. You're not even hanging out with the same people. No one knows you were fat, right? No one knows you used to be 300 pounds. No one knows the old you. And you move to this little town or you move to this job and you're like, Look at me, I lost 150 pounds. And everyone's like, oh, okay, that's great, Mary, cool. Can you file these papers for me? Like, no one cares about you. And then you're like, what the fuck did I do this for? I mean, no, no, look at me. Look at me. I really did it. I've kept the weight off. I've lost 120 pounds and kept the weight off. Look at me. 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 But what happened was before... Who's me? Right? Who am I? Why should we look at you? What have you done? Great, you lost 150 pounds and kept it off. How does that affect? Good for you, Mary. But that doesn't help me pay my bills. That doesn't help me, you know, like what, what, what do I do about my cheating husband? What do I do about my boss who's mean to me? What do I do about my kids who are on drugs? 
it's, you know, uh, this conversation is turning kind of dark, but by the time you realize what a cool ass thing that you did getting healthy and having weight loss surgery, by the time you realize that you deserve the love and that you're a, a good human and you, you deserve to be treated well, the world's moved on, girl. The world's moved on because they've all worried, you know, they all have their own problems to worry about. And now you're left going, wait, 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 what about me? What about me? What about you? Okay. Which now the question is this, what, what about five years out? Answers we don't really know. There are very, very few of them. But I will tell you the numbers don't look good. The follow-up is not so good. Most of them are lost to follow up. Even the long term studies where we can get people five years out or more, only the ones who are doing well show up. Trust me. <laughs> if you were more than five years out and you had regained most of your weight, would you go back to see your surgeon? Yeah, I would, Dr. Vong. I don't think so. No, because you didn't go back to see him at this point. You didn't come back and see me at this point. You didn't come back and to group at this point because you, I got it. I got it, Dr. V. I'm all excited. You see what I'm saying? You see the progression? You see what I did to you there? I worked your ass backwards. We just don't really know. But I'm telling you, there's probably a lot more failures. And I hate to use that word. There's probably more, more unsuccessful stories than we realize. Than we're willing to admit. Now, why am I telling you this? It's because we want to change this. This is what the Dr. V community is about. Dr. V is not a person. I'm, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm cute. I'm the surgeon, written 13 books. You do, do, talk to you, cuss at you like no other. Keeping it real. But Dr. V is a community. It's you, you guys. I'm calling out you guys who are over five years out, eight years out, struggling. Come back in. I want to hear from you guys that are far out who are successful. What have you done to be successful? Tell people, did you have a divorce? Did you finally get rid of your fat, negative husband and your family members who are negative and you got rid of everybody? Teach us so we can tell the story. Even if you've regained all your weight, tell the story. Why did you regain the weight? Don't tell me, oh, well, I had it done so long ago, like there was no material. Or I should have, I wish I had met Dr. V five years ago, then I wouldn't have regained the weight. That doesn't help us. Oh, you know, you didn't have Dr. V five years ago. What did, you do? what did you do? What caused you to regain the weight? Help us backtrack this. But from where everything I've done working with you guys, these are the important steps. This, these are the mind stumbling blocks that get y'all, okay? And this is five years out. It's more of a, it's not even a given up. It's not a given up. It's like, I, I just don't care. Like it is the common. It is normal now. It, it's not spectacular. You're not really talking about it anymore because it's your new normal. This is my new normal. What do you want from me? Uh, I, I'm, I've always made bad choices. See, I told you. I told you this weight loss surgery wouldn't work. I told you I have bad habits. I told you I was a worst case scenario. See, you reinforce those stories, but you didn't change it, right? You didn't do any. So here's critical, right? Who cares? Now that sounds mean, but what this really is calling you guys out to say, you know, do something. You've been given this opportunity to radically change your health. Not just lose 150 pounds, not get rid of your diabetes medicines, high blood pressure, CPAP machine, all that's great. Now what you gonna do, bitch? What are you gonna do with the gift that you've been given? Because one day you're gonna look up and no one cares that you lost 150 pounds because you don't impact the world. Do something, girl, write a book, start telling your story, Go back to school, be an example, even if it's just an example to your kids. Even if you show your teenage daughter, listen, don't date that asshole. You deserve better. I'm worth it, right? Because when you're at this level, you're close to goal, you better start seeing how fabulous you are, how short life really is, right? When you just, when you're getting through, when you recover from surgery, you got to stay focused. You got to stay focused on all the changes. It's a lifelong marathon. It's not a short sprint, right? You got to understand that ultimately you're worth it. But you're only worth it to the extent that you do something.
that impacts the world. Do something that will impact the world. Skinny is a side effect. You'll lose the weight. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Life is short, everybody. I love you very much. I'll see you next time. Hi, Dr. Vong here. If you loved that video, I hope you will check out Velocity2020.com. I want to meet you in person. This is my big annual conference in Vegas. It's amazing. It's not just about weight loss surgery, but it's about taking your life up to the next level. You're going to meet the best people, the best speakers, the best audience possible. You're going to really take your life up to the next level. 2020 is all about vision, clarity, and focus. We're going to show you how to find your vision, what you really want to do with your life, get crystal clear, clarity, and then find your laser focus to do what you need to do to have the amazing life that you deserve. Hope to see you there.